Hello, Sparky, SparkyUOnline.com. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, grounding your receptacles in your boxes. And specifically coming from uh, 2008 NEC book uh, 25146. And it states that equipment bonding jumper shall be used to connect the grounding terminal of a grounding type receptacle to ground the box unless grounded as in 25146A through D. I'm not going to get into all that right now. But, uh, you know, Article 4063D1 says grounding type receptacles where a grounding means exist in the receptacle enclosure, that being that their cut in box, or an equivalent grounding conductor is installed in accordance with 250.130C. I'm not going to get into that right now. The grounding shall be used and be connected to the equipment grounding conductor in accordance with 4063C or 250.130C. And that's just going down a no, whole nother rabbit trail. The bottom line is this outlet uh, is not pigtailed off with that ground and grounded to that bond screw. As you can see, this was a used cut-in box and for whatever reason the ground wire was uh, cut off short and when our guy installed this he didn't even tie into the the ground screw there um, you have a couple different options as i stated getting into some of the other articles um, like on a surface mounted box if you have that uh, that bushing there or that little fiber uh, screw holder if that's removed and then tied into that box on a, a surface mounted box you're good to go if you have the uh, self grounding style receptacles like this one I'll show you a picture in a minute of, of what that looks like a little bit better but uh, you can use that as well uh, just a just a little side view of that one uh, this one doesn't even have a ground screw at all in it not even not even hooked up anti bushing fell out or anti short bushing fell out there's where your ground screw should go is right back there we recently started getting some cut in boxes and they already come with the uh, ground tail in them so uh, that's a little bit more convenient not that they're going to use it obviously from the first pitcher but it needs to be used these are the self locking uh, recepts that I was talking about and these can be used on the uh, industrial cover plates uh, without the equipment ground wire and basically what it says is a list of exposed work cover shall be permitted to be the grounding and bonding means when one the device is attached to the cover with at least two fasteners that are permanent such as a rivet or a thread locking or screw locking means and two when the cover mounting holes are located on a flat non-raised portion of the cover so what I get out of that is when you're using these screws um, and those are being uh, they're basically calling screw locking means and then this is the flat portion of the uh, industrial cover so in this case uh, you wouldn't necessarily have to have that in there but uh, I, I still think that uh, you need to bond the whole thing and run a pigtail in there and then you're covered on it so so the moral of the story is that um, you know, we've got journeymen out there, unqualified people out there that uh, really need some extra training. And if it's just a matter of uh, because they're so freaking lazy, um, then we just need to get rid of them and, and find somebody who really cares. Uh, I, I doubt even if I uh, brought up any of those articles at all, they'd, they'd even have an idea of what I was talking about. So anyway, um, hope this one was a little bit useful for you and um, we need to bring awareness to everybody out there in the field that uh, we have to abide by the codes and that's just the way it is if you want a job so thanks for watching have a great day